yeah, this is my um, new purchase today, a uh, porcupine puffer, about six inches. I was down there today um, at Maidenhead. Um, I've got a skeletal eel coming in here. Um, it looks like a dwarf um, moray eel. But apparently they're escape artists, so because this is an acrylic with the two holes in the top, I need something, I need to get glass cut because there's bits of acrylic on the top, but apparently this thing pushes up on things, so um, they're saying in the shop that it's, they've come, like, come along into that aisle a few times and it's been flapping about on the floor. So I've got to um, make the tank escape proof and I'll be getting that in the next couple of days. I've got, um, I'm trying to remember the name of it, it's a grouper, a uh, really nice looking fish. But um, that's probably about seven, eight inches. This is about six. So you'll have the grouper, the um, skeletorial, and the um, porcupine puffer. Sorry about the camera right there. I've got all stuff in the bedroom. I've got um, my seven foot is being sold today, so I can get my eight foot in. And then um, all the little smaller tanks that I've all got fry and all kinds of crap in, um, they will be sold off. But um, yeah, I want to do a media luna tank, so I, want, um, I know they're meant to be really hard to keep, but I'm going to try my own there anyway, because before I weren't using RO or anything like that, so now I'm hoping things be a bit different. But yeah, I want um, Leprechauns and Bartano. Yeah, but some of the, the thing I'm not too keen on with the marine is we're coming from like big cichlids like Centrals and South Americans. I mean, they're literally full of personality. And although clownfish and things like that, they are like personable, but they're not quite the same. Whereas um, how this fish was earlier in the shop with the uh, fellows that worked in now, I mean, it's literally like a puppy. So yeah, I couldn't really resist this one out of point. It weren't that bad either, price wise, I paid £60 for it. Yeah, I've got all my auto top ups now, um, all my wave makers, skimmers, like, everything for both tanks. I'm trying to get everything built up, but I can. Yeah, I've got um, another MCE 600 coming, which I shouldn't have bought because now I'm putting the MCE 600 that I've got out there onto this tank. The Deltec uh, MCE, and then um, I've got a Deltec 1456 now to go into that um, the reef cube or mini reef, whatever the name of the tank is. Yeah, it's an Aqua One that one out there, it's like a knockoff of a Red Sea Reefer. Only I think the Red Sea Reefer's got a built in sunk, um, the one of the same one that's the size as mine. And this one I've got has got a uh, sump sitting underneath. I think the Red Sea Reefer it's meant to be a copy of is the 170, which I think has got the, in uh, the internal sump. I'm not quite sure, but it looked like that in the pictures. But yeah, anyway, this is in. Okay.